Okay, here's a quick walk around. 1972 CB500, an 82 CB650 engine. Um, silver Japanese market paint. Super Sport stripe. 400F handlebars with internal wiring. Rebuilt um, switches. David Silver spares. Master cylinder. Braided hoses. EBC brake pads, EBC brake shoes, correct sprocket for the transmission in the 82650 engine, new chain, new sprocket, TB750 shocks, new fork gaiters, new fork oil, restored Lester mag wheels, polished paint detailed with the rare 18 inch rear. Nearly new Shinko 712 tires. The vintage Hardeen or Jardine, depending on how you pronounce it. Header, exhaust, with their Astro Coat or Dura Coat coating on it, very durable. Rebuilt carburetors, completely cleaned, new O rings, vacuum sink, the engine has a recent tune-up, valve adjustment, uh, cam chain adjustment, less than a thousand miles on the oil and filter, k and air filters, they run really well with none of the problems that pods give you. You can see the side cover has been slightly trimmed to clear. Custom cafe seat, small early style tail light, or early fender, Early reflectors on the fork gear. Dan Moto digital gauge. Everything works. All lights, horns, signals, etc. Hamco ignition. Genuine Honda cables, clutch cable, throttle cable. Choke cable. Halcyon bar in mirrors. Let's see. Definitely cold, and CB650s are known for being a little cold natured. We'll see if we can get her to fire up. Once she's down the road about a mile or two, no problems at all. See the Dan Moto turn signal, right turn signal, high beam. about it. It's a really nice bike. It gets a ton of attention everywhere it goes.